This is a review of the Alternate Binaural Loudness Balance Test, or the ABLB, and how to perform that test within the Studio software by MedRex. The ABLB is a retrocochlear evaluation test. It helps to determine if recruitment is present or absent in an ear with hearing loss. This test is used to evaluate the loudness level of the better hearing ear compared to the loudness levels of the ear with the hearing loss. The better ear must have at least a few frequencies within the normal hearing thresholds. So in this example, we have the right ear is the better ear with 10 dB thresholds. The left ear is the poor ear and you have sloping thresholds. For the ABLB, the procedure that you want to follow is at a particular frequency, a tone is presented at 20 decibels SL, so above the threshold to the better ear. In this case, if we look at 1000 Hertz, you would want to present the tone at 30 decibels on the right. Then present another tone at the same frequency to the poorer ear at 20 dB on the left side at 1000 Hertz. Have the patient compare the loudness level of the tone in the poorer ear to the loudness level of the tone in the better ear. You want to present the tone again at 20 dB SL in the better ear and then vary the intensity of the tone in the poorer ear incrementally by 5 dB until the patient reports that the loudness level of the tone in the better ear is equal to the tone in the poorer ear. For further specificity, you can vary the intensity level in the poorer ear by 1 or 2 dB increments instead of 5. After equal loudness level is achieved, the process is repeated in 20 dB steps until either the patient hits their tolerance level or the maximum output of the audiometer is reached. As the intensity level increases with each run, there is no recruitment if the decibel difference between the two ears remains constant. So if at each increment the decibel difference to achieve equal loudness is, for instance, 15 decibels apart. There is recruitment if the decibel difference between the two ears decreases. So if at one increase you have a 15 decibel difference and the patient reports equal loudness, and then when you increase again, then that difference goes down to 5 decibels apart. There is derecruitment if the decibel difference between the two ears increases. So for example, if at one level there's a 15 dB difference between the presentation levels of each ear and the patient reports equal loudness, and then you increase the presentation levels, and then there's a 25 dB difference between them and the patient reports equal loudness levels. In the case of the ABLB, no recruitment and derecruitment would be considered abnormal because it would show that an abnormally slow growth in loudness in an ear with sensory neural hearing loss. In general, a sensory neural hearing loss is assumed to have recruitment. So if there's recruitment present, that equals a cochlear loss. If there's no recruitment or derecruitment, it is considered a retrocochlear loss. In the studio software, in order to complete the ABLB test, we need to enter the audiometry module. This main screen will vary depending on which pieces of equipment you have from MedRex. So click on audiometry, and on the top of this module you will see different tabs for tests that are available here. So if we click on the ABLB, you can see that we have the same thresholds that we we're talking about in the example on the slideshow. The right ear is the better ear, the left ear has sloping thresholds. So in this case we want to go to a thousand Hertz and you can use your arrow keys right and left to change the frequency that you want to test and you can use the arrow keys up and down to change the left intensity level. If you hit control and use the arrow keys you will change the right side. You can also use the sliders or the buttons down at the bottom to control each ear individually. So in this case at 1000 Hz we want to present a tone 
a 20 dB SL to the threshold. So on the right side, we want to present a 30 decibel tone. And on the left side, we want to present at threshold, so at 20 decibels. For this one, we want to press test. And once we do that, we want the patient to let us know when there's equal loudness on each side. So the studio software will automatically present the tone opposite ears. So it will present on the right side, then on the left, and then again on the right and on the left, as long as you have the test button there. So you can keep your finger on the space bar and that will continuously present. If you just press the button here, it will just present a few presentations on each side. And what you want to do is keep increasing the test ear, so the left side, the poorer ear, by five decibels and present again until the patient then tells you that there's equal loudness being presented to both sides. And once they do that, press the equal key. From there, you want to increase your presentation by 20 dB. So on the right side, we will go to 50 decibels and we can present again. And keep doing the same thing, present and increase the intensity level on the poorer ear until the patient responds that there's equal loudness on each side. And once you do that several times, you want to see if you can get to the limits of the audiometer or whatever is most comfortable for the patient for loudness level. On the bottom of the window, you'll see which frequency you tested at and the intensity levels for both the right and the left ear. On the graph, the marks are there also for where you presented your different intensity levels. When you've completed testing, you can then print your results. Click on the print icon on the top of the screen. Select which template you want to use. You can either click print preview or just print it. And on the printout, you will see that the same marks for the intensity levels and which ear are shown on the graph here.